How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're taking a look at the best dual 1911 class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, starting us off in the stock category is where you will find the dual wield attachment. There's not much needed to say here. That's just how you get two of the weapon. In the muzzle, you're going to want the SOCOM Eliminator when you're running the Task Force Barrel, which is exactly what we're going with here. It does have some kick, can become uncontrollable, so you need that vertical recoil control. You also get the muzzle flash concealment of 85%. That makes it so you only show up on the map as long as you are shooting. Once you stop, you completely disappear. Now, for the body, you want the 5 milliwatt laser. There's really no penalty here. You're just wanting. That hip fire accuracy, as you can see, it only takes away 8% aim down sight time, but you are dual wielding. You're not aiming on the sights anyways. And then for the magazine, we have the 14 round fast mag. And again, it's only an aim down sight time penalty here, but with dual wield, that really does not apply. Pretty short intro. These 1911s did get nerfed back in season three, I believe. And then again in season four with the movement speed. They're not nearly as good as they used to, but this is actually one of my most viewed videos, that being the 1911s. So I figured it's time for another one. See if this will bring me any success. And I'm telling you, the class setup is good. It still competes, especially in the close ranges. I highly recommend you give it a try. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to the channel and would like to find your way back for more videos just like this one, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. That would be absolutely awesome. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button. That is the most effective way to support the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. So we're going to rock out with the 1911s this game. I haven't uploaded a dual 1911 video in probably four months. And it's not because I didn't want to. More or less because it's hard to do. They're not the easiest weapon in the world to use, to be 100% honest. Damage at close range is very, very good. But after that, it's very difficult to use, quite honestly. If you're not using them at close range, you will struggle a smidge. Like right there, I missed a lot of shots. I can't jump over. Okay. There's a guy behind me. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Like I said, it's not the easiest weapon in the world to use, but at close range, they're extremely good. They got nerfed not long ago. And it really put them at a disadvantage compared to the other pistols. But the dual 1911 is actually one of my most viewed videos on my channel. If you can control the recoil on these things, they're really good. More or less, you got to find a way to do it. Oh, please, no. I can't believe I just got that kill. There's a guy right here. Man, I guess good shot on his part. He was using a sniper. For some reason, I thought it was a shotgun, but we have no objective other than to get kills. Getting a nuke with this thing, it's actually better to use the solo 1911 at this point, to be 100% honest. The solo 1911 is very, very good. Is there another guy here? Okay. 
That was a very unideal time to run out of ammo there. Okay, so they're over here. Let's see if we can get some kills. Oh, oh we kind of choked that. Oh my gosh, this guy's good. Oh, the sniper, man. That stinks. I was actually on a better streak than I thought I was going to be on. Oh, shit. I actually got 40 kills. Not too bad, considering... Considering it's dual 1911. My teammate's running over these kids. Okay. Round's gonna end. There we go. 51 kills. I'm vibing. So another thing to keep in mind while you're running dual wield in this game is you have much less aim assist because you're not aiming down the sights. When it comes to hip fire in this game, the aim assist just isn't nearly as strong, unfortunately. Sounds like a Molotov throw on his part. I want to flank, but they're still going to spawn here. Yep, there's one. Okay, there we go. That's by our that spy plane from the teammates huge. I might be able to get something going here. Harp. So we got a thing in the house here. I didn't think we'd end up being on a streak like this. We're going to play safe. There's a kid in the back. He's AFK. Don't you dare take my kill. We're only on an 18, so I got to play pretty safe because my harp is going to run out pretty quickly. But if we can chill right here, this would be a good spot. Never mind. Not a good spot. Kid was camping. Well, he wasn't camping there. Thought he was. Our teammates are running through him. Having good teammates is nice. Where are they at? Here's two. There is a kid up here, so we're gonna go for him. No one? Okay. Oh my god!
That is extremely unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that would have been the hunter bomb. I don't know if I can get it now. Brother. Oh, okay. He's still in the house. There's two of them up here. Wait a minute. What? I didn't even see the kid. I literally didn't even see him. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Ninety-one kills is still pretty good. No ninety-two now. Ninety-four and seven. That's I am gonna take with the dual nineteen elevens. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not gonna lie, 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 I'm not gonna lie,